Greetings from the Neotia Bhagirathi Women and Child Care Centre, Newtown. I am Dr. Sankot Das Mahapatra, consultant gynecologist and laparoscopic surgeon, practicing in Kolkata for the last 30 years. Today I am going to discuss about a very important topic about women, that is fibroid uterus. What is fibroid? Fibroid is the benign non-cancerous tumor of the uterus. It occurs in the reproductive age group. What is the incidence of fibroid? Fibroid is usually present in 20-30% cases in reproductive age group in India. What are the signs and symptoms of fibroid? Usually patient presents with excessive bleeding during menstruation and especially and pain during the menstruation. This is, these are the most common symptoms that present with the fibroid to our office. And second is the mass in the abdomen. When we palpate the abdomen, we find in the mass in the abdomen. And third, when the fibroid is present in the anterior part of the uterus, patient presents with increased frequency of micturition. And when present in the posterior part of the uterus, it presents with constipation and abdominal bloating and heaviness. And sometimes postmenopausal patient presents with fibroid. Sometimes women think, oh, I have menopause, so I have no fibroid. But no. Sometimes postmenopausal patient also presents with fibroid in the uterus. Sometimes in routine treatment of the infertility patient, we find the fibroids in the uterus. So now come the diagnostic part. For diagnosis of fibroid, we usually take first the history. Patient give the history of excessive menstruation during the time of period. And second, we palpate the abdomen. By palpation, you can find there is a fibroid in the uterus. And by parvaginal examination, we can find the enlarged uterus. And most common important tool for diagnosis of fibroid is ultrasound examination. By ultrasonography, we find the position of the fibroid, number of the fibroid. And if it is not sufficient, then we do the MRI scan. By MRI scan, we do the mapping of the fibroids. And by MRI scan, we can differentiate between the fibroid and the adenomyosis and is the most important in case of infertility patient because infertility patient you can only do the myoectomy not hysterectomy. And what is the common modalities of treatment of fibroid? Most common modality of the treatment of fibroid those who want to preserve the uterus and infertility patient is the myoectomy. Laparoscopy is the only method of choice to, 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 to the, do the myoectomy and in case of those who complete the family we go for hysterectomy and especially that is the laparoscopic hysterectomy. If the fibroid is present in the submucus that is inside the uterine cavity then you do hysteroscopic myomectomy. Uh, other mod modalities are there, one is uterine artery embolization. We embolize the uterine artery so that fibroid will now grow. And what are the, so now we discuss some special issues, what is the uh, part of infertility. In infertility patient, uh, some patient with fibroid may present with infertility. Patients with submucous fibroid cause uh, recurrent abortion and patient with intramural fibroid cause implantation failure. So infertility is the one of the uh, cause of fibroid. Uh, this, and then there is pregnancy part. And in pregnancy, sometimes patient presents with, during time of pregnancy, patient presents with fibroid. In fibroid with pregnancy, there is chance of premature delivery and recurrent abortion and then pain in the, uh, the abdomen due, due to rate degeneration of the fibroid. Sometimes there is difficulty in delivering of the baby if there is fibroid position is in cervical part. If the fibroid is in the very big size, it may cause rate degeneration. And sometimes if the fibroid present in the lower segment of the uterus, there is difficulty during the time of surgery and section. If fibroid, if, if patient is obese, then what will happen? If the patient is obese, then there is increased chance of fibroid. We already discussed that fibroid is the estrogen dependent tumor. If the excess estrogen produced in the fat cells, that will stimulate the growth of the fibroid. So during the discussion of the fibroid uterus, we have to uh, memorize something or take home message is that in fibroid is a non-cancerous condition. So don't hurry for any surgery. In asymptomatic patient, no need of any surgery and we only method of surgery is the laparoscopy 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 is the only method of choice for removal of fibroid no laparotomy 
डोंट मिसगाइड बाय द अदर पीपल एंड ओनली 0.5% केसेस फाइब्रोइड में अंडरगो मैलिग्नेंसी एंड ओनली रिकरेंस रेट इज 2 टू 4% ऑफ केसेस आफ्टर सर्जरी फाइब्रोइड में रिकर थैंक यू